Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to talk about something else, something a little bit more serious. Fast forward in 2022, January, I began working as a solutions engineer at a tech company in New York City. Well, prior to that, I had no previous background in technology. And five years ago, if you told me that I would work in a tech role in New York City, I would have laughed. We can talk about my background in another video, but today I really want to share with you why being a solutions engineer is a fantastic opportunity for you, especially now in 2023 if you want to break into tech. Well, let's face it, the technology sector is not doing so well nowadays. If you just graduated from a bootcamp or you've been looking for a software engineering entry-level role for a while, let me pitch to you why being a solutions engineer can be a good first step to break into tech. The first reason why being a solutions engineer is very helpful in your career in general is that you get to work with customers. You get valuable customer facing experiences. I know it sounds very cliche, oh you, need, you get to work with people, but it's true. As soon as you start working with customers, you will realize that customers' code bases are so different, their environments are different, and the third-party technologies that they are using are not exactly in your comfort zone. And sometimes you may realize that all oh, the customers themselves may not know um, how the technology works on their side either. So when that happens, you will need to have the right communication skills to one, make your customers feel they are heard, two, ask the right questions in order to troubleshoot for them, and three, come up with solutions or workarounds if your customer's case is an edge case. Sometimes we are working with high profile companies, for example, PayPal, JP Morgan, or LinkedIn, and any other uh, customer companies that use your products. By working with them, you kind of get a sense of the level of clarity and um, precision of decision making you should be performing on. So by working with customers in that way, you truly get to experience, observe, and learn what is it like to be working in technology. Second fantastic learning opportunity here is that you get to learn about different products and how different products work. My company has been in a hyper growth mode since it was founded. For example, five years ago, we only had three big products and nowadays we have 12 to 13 products, give or take. And you know, depending on the customer's own environment, their framework, their languages, and how they set up uh, everything, how they use the products is different. And when they do set up the products and when they are using your products, they encounter issues. As a solutions engineer, it is your job to figure out a solution that works for the customers for their specific setup. So there is allowed to learn um, a lot of technologies that you need to get yourself familiarized with. And yeah, just a lot of learning. I find myself working with different technologies every single day. And that is really fulfilling and it just really humbles you to see how much there is to learn. The third major upside for me working as a solutions engineer is that I work with people from different departments and that, that truly gives me a sense of how technology companies operate in a sense. Some people in other roles that I can think of that I work on a daily basis are one, customer success managers. They're the ones who manage customer relationships. They make sure um, customers are happy, their requests are fulfilled, they make sure their billing goes through, and sometimes we need to reach out to them for help for some customer requests. The second group of people I can think of are account executives. Sometimes when the, our accounts are larger, account executives replace customer success manager in a sense. So in my opinion, they kind of serve similar functions, at least within my organization. The third group of people that I work with closely are software engineers on different teams. They come into play when I report an issue with their products. Um, sometimes customers want to optimize 
the performance of a product or I have very specific and technical issues or questions that are not documented in our external or internal documentation, I reach out to software engineers and they help me answer customers' questions. The fourth group of people that I work closely with every single day are product managers. They come into play when I want to know what a roadmap for a product looks like or the customer wants to know is this feature available, when are we going to support this functionality, things like that. Last but not least, the fifth team that I work closely with and rely heavily on is the documentation team. They produce external documentations, meaning that customers actually refer to those documents when they configure our products. Sometimes our customers give us feedbacks on our documentation. For example, this step is not very easy to follow. I don't understand what this is talking about. When scenarios like this happen, it's our job to report back to the documentation team to optimize these documents. I made this video because on LinkedIn, many people have reached out to me asking me what is it like being a solution engineer, what it takes to become a solutions engineer, and of course, people ask for referrals. So I thought, why don't I make a YouTube video to talk about it? If you're still watching, I hope you're having a fantastic day. For those of you who are looking for your first job in tech, I hope this video finds you well and just know that you are not alone. It's not easy for anyone right now. So hang in there, you will get there and I hope you get your first job soon. Okay? And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this type of content or want to learn more about breaking into tech or what is it like being a solutions engineer, please comment down below so that I will make more content.